I have some more footage of playing with a thermal infrared camera, FLIR camera. This right here, it's a Raytheon thermal security camera. One pic 160 pixels across. You can see the um, lens looks silver. It's opaque for visible. These things cost about six, seven thousand dollars new. I got it cheap off eBay. Here we have a metal mirror, a chunk of aluminum, and a plastic plexiglass mirror. Look pretty much the same. Also, a squirt bottle, plastic bottle of water, and a can of Diet Coke. If I go to thermal infrared, Now with thermal infrared, you can tell where I'm sitting on the couch by the hot spot it leaves behind. And the can of Coke is a little bit dark. And I can look like I've been attacked by giant squids by stamping cold rings on, all, on my scalp. Or turn the inside of my mouth black. Ah. Also, the metal mirror works pretty good. In thermal infrared, that's about one hundredth of a millimeter, the wavelength of this light. But the plexiglass mirror isn't very, really working. You can see a little bit. Well, there's the painted side. You can see a little bit on the painted side, not much on the plastic side. Actually, it looks like the painted side works better. But here's my aluminum plate. That works really good. Oh, can really see my, myself on the, on the couch. Here's my water bottle. Makes cold spots all over everything. Fire! Uh, one more thing with thermal infrared. I've got a big black garbage bag. So polyethylene, even these black dyed polyethylene bags, are clear in the thermal infrared. I should be completely hidden if you're watching this in normal light. But the polyethylene garbage bag doesn't hide anything. There's two layers of uh, four layers of, of plastic. <laughs>